Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The scripture says in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, I want to read in your hearing verses 14 and 15. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you do, did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah. I've taken for a thought today. All that we are is because of him. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. It's a lamp unto our feet. It's a light unto our path, God. It gives us hope. It gives us strength, God. And Father, it lets us see you. So I pray, Father, that your word go forth in clarity. I pray that it would not return unto you void, but everything that you sent this word to do, my Lord, I pray that it would be accomplished. And I even ask, Lord, that you would lead me by your spirit through this message so that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart, God, let it be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, I pray and I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Paul, a Pharisee of Pharisees, opened up to us about his life and his struggle. See, the man of God wanted to let us know that the law is spiritual. See, all carnality, that's works of the flesh, carnality and sin, you know, that outward man. But I want you to know that God's desire is to do the work in our heart. And once that work is done, you know, when we accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior and allow the Holy Spirit to regenerate us, you know, to sanctify us, that causes us to be led by the Spirit and not by the carnal man. See, Jesus set us free from sin, giving us a new life. And I want you to know tonight there's some dynamite right here. The same Spirit, that dunamis that rose Jesus up from the grave, it now resides in us. God's Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And you know what? We can now say, because we have accepted Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, we are now part of the family of God, led by, hallelujah, the Spirit of God. And we are now sons of God. And when the Bible says sons of God, I believe that's a general term, you know, for both male and female. Sons of God, adopted. And that's beautiful when you think about what God has done. He has adopted us. See, God took us or he accepted us as his very own. In the Bible, what does it say? We are accepted in the beloved. Who was the beloved? Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he gave us, God gave us permission to call him Abba Father. See, both of those words, Abba and Father, are Father. Some commentators even translate that word Abba as Papa. You know, when I think about that, I think about crawling up on your father's lap, your papa's lap, and telling him all about it and talking about him. See, there's safety in your papa's lap. There's provision in your papa's lap. Hallelujah. There's conversation that no one else gets to hear but you and your Abba. Hallelujah. We are today, I can say, a blessed people. We are an honored people because of what Jesus has done. We are most favored because of what Jesus, and most of all, we are accepted in the beloved, and we are now sons and daughters of the Most High God. Hallelujah. The Bible again says in Romans 8, 14 and 15, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. 
Hallelujah. That's a privilege. And I want you to know today as I conclude that the Lord loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love and he has proven his love. He gave his only begotten son, Jesus, and then he sent the Holy Spirit to seal us with the promise. Hallelujah. We now have eternal life. We have eternal hope and we have a future that shall never end. So I want you to go and tell somebody about Jesus. Let them know that he loves loves them. Let them know that he cares. Let them know that they can have a brand new life. And while you're doing that, I want you to keep your eyes on Jesus. I God bless you. I want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.